Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I will be unboxing and reviewing the school portable jump starter right after this. If you are new to my channel and would like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for Amazon Fire devices and product reviews then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you so much. So I have decided to purchase the school portable 12 volt car jump starter the company that makes it, it's called IRIHUP. I haven't heard of before, but I think, but as, and it, and it claims that it can jumpstart any gas engine within minutes. So let's see what comes in the box, and then I will mention some of its popular nice features that it has built in. Uh, I think, I think the way you uh, pronounce their brand name is IRIHUP. I hope I'm saying it right because I haven't heard of this company before, but the price really jumped out to me, and so is the size because the size is no more than you no more bigger than your cell phone and it's a lithium car a 12 volt car jump starter compared to your uh, traditional you know big and bulky jump starters out there that have that norm that normally have uh, lead acid batteries i'm not really a fan of those they're big bulky and heavy so this is very small which you will see here in a minute so let's go ahead with the unboxing and then I'll show you, and then I'll talk about some of the features that it has built in, which I, which I think is pretty nice. And the price is just right as well. So here's what the, what the original box looked like. Looks like uh, the brand is called Iry Help. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I do apologize. This is a. They claim that this can provide 2,000 amps of current to jumpstart your uh, 12 volt battery. Um, it has a nice uh, bright LED digital screen on the front and a few other features. And what I really liked about this from the get-go is that it has multiple built-in uh, features, like safety features. As you can see, it has short circuit protection, overcharge protection, uh, over discharge protection, over temperature protection. We can see uh, reverse pol polarity protection, just in case you connect the negative to positive and vice versa. Um, we have a reverse reverse charge protection as well. Overcurrent, overcurrent protection, over voltage protection, low voltage protection, and extreme low power consumption protection, which is interesting. So you have 10 different uh, safety features that are built in. As you can see on top, it says extra safe to use. So which I think is pretty awesome. It comes in a nice uh, compact uh, size box. And here's some basic um, instructions, step one, two, three, and four, which I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. And looking at the back of the box, here you can see that this is a multifunctional jump starter. The model number is F8, F8, excuse me, FC800 Pro. Uh, the peak current is 2,000 amps. It's got a capacity of 66.8 watt hours. Uh, it's got a couple USB ports, which I'll show you here, guys, in a minute. There's the manufacturer, there's their address, and the sales service email, just in case you need it. Hopefully not. <clears throat> so let's, let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. I like that this is one thing that I liked about it. Of course, I've already opened the box and seen what's inside just to test out the product and see how legit this is. I love the fact that this comes with a nice, oops, with a nice hard, hard case. Let's turn this upside down. This comes with a nice sturdy hard case, which I love this feature because packaging tells a lot. And, and this is a hard case as, as you can see to hold all of your goodies. And this is actually a zipper case, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Oops. So once you open the zipper case, and you can see that here, here's multiple accessories, and here's the jump starter itself. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Here we have a nice user printed manual. Uh, this is the owner's manual. As you can see, it's a portable car jump starter. This is the FC. 800 uh, excuse me fc 600 pro model um it's a nice and handy uh user manual as a matter of fact it's actually printed in color something you don't really see nowadays with many different companies and this tells you if you have any um and i think it comes in like within two three languages which is pretty nice but it, this tells you if you have any errors or how to troubleshoot the unit and whatnot and even as you can see here how you can connect, how, you, how you're supposed to properly connect this to the battery, or excuse me, alligator, alligator clips, I should say. So that's the user manual, put that on the side. And here is the unit. Actually, before we get to the unit, let me go ahead and show you what kind of accessories this unit comes with. And so to begin with, you get, I'm going to go ahead and take out 
This unit is actually a rechargeable lithium battery unit. It's basically like a, a decent size, like a big, imagine having a big capacity power bank that can charge your phone or your tablet. And believe it or not, this unit is actually rechargeable using a USB-C um, charging cable, as you can see here, which is provided. So on the left, you have the legacy USB-A uh, uh, you know, end on the cable. On the right-hand side, this plugs into the unit, which is via USB-C. I'll go ahead and put that on the side. And I just absolutely love this case, honestly. I'm glad that they decided to have a like a heavy-duty shell case. That way it holds all of your goodies so it's not, you know, moving on and whatnot. And then here, uh, the second accessory that you get, this is a very interesting accessory, which I believe this will come handy for many folks. Um, if you, you can actually plug th this. Uh, this is the side that plugs in into the jump starter itself and then if you have like a 12 volt any and this will provide you power for any 12 volt 12 volt accessory or 12 volt items such as like one of those travel digital uh 12 volt um freezers or refrigerators that a lot of people use i'm sure you guys have seen them in the past or maybe even viewed a review on, on youtube and whatnot or on social media there's many different brands and companies that make those portable um, refrigerator slash freezer this will power something like that which comes very handy and then we have these i say semi heavy duty uh, jumper cables and these are straightforward you have the negative uh, and the positive jumping cables and then this this is the part that connects to the jump starter so let me go ahead and show you what's and i believe that's what you get in this case here on the left so let me go ahead and show you what what the what the 12 volt jump starter actually looks like so it comes in this nice little bag nice and snug so here's the unit oops upside down so here's the unit itself and as you can see they proudly uh, show their brand name on the front this is telling you this is a jump 12 volt jump starter and on this side you can see that there's an on and off button which i'm going to go ahead and press you just press and hold for one or two seconds and this has a halfway decent uh, battery status you can it tells you that it's 100 percent charged um, it says that there's the out or in uh, in other words if you if it's giving if it's providing juice to a battery or whatnot actually it has like an automatic shut off as you can see it just went off right now and it actually has um and it also has a a qualcomm built-in usb 3.0 which is right on top i'm going to show you guys here in a minute but here you get your basic information as long and as well as your voltage whenever you connect it to a 12 volt battery so this is the on and off button right here and this is the power button right here to turn on the unit when you get ready to jump start any 12 volt battery okay and then <clears throat> let me show you what else is here now here this is where you uh, charge this uh, rechargeable 12 volt jump starter via USB-C I'm gonna go ahead and open this actually so again this side right here this is as you can see here here, this is where you plug in the USB-C charging port right here to charge this unit. And this is where you go ahead and plug in your jumper cables. Okay. So, and then other features, which I, I think is very nice to have. You have a, a dual USB charging port. The one on the left provides 5 volt, which is normal for a USB port, but only gives you 2.4 amps of power. The one on the right hand side gives you also 5 volt, but also goes up to 3 amps uh, of juice. Providing you like say if you plug in say a drone or something that needs to be charged at a faster rate Something like a tablet or a drone or a camcorder which needs a, which needs a little bit more current or a little bit more juice at a faster rate Compared to a cell phone and whatnot and then you have a very bright LED built-in flashlight which has multiple modes Which I'm gonna go ahead and actually try right now. So if you press and hold down the power button, you can see that The flashlight comes on instantly and just to give you an idea there it is okay and this is this is a pretty bright light honestly for for a little power bank of this size and then if you press the power button one more time you're going to get the flashing mode then if you press it one more time it's a very it's a fast blinking light and then if you press it one more time this is the red light i believe this is for emergency use hopefully you never need it but if you do at least it's at least it's there it's there along with your 12 volt jump starter which i think is pretty neat to be honest so Basically, this unit is considered like an all-in-one. You have a flashlight. It's basically a power bank that can charge multiple two devices at the, at the same time. It's a jump starter, 
and can be used for emergency as well. So now, uh, and, and of course, this can uh, this by the way this can jump this can jump start any sized gas engine up to eight liters in size, and any um, and also diesel it can also jump start diesel engines, anything up to five liters in size. Uh, this also has a built-in lithium battery pack instead of a traditional instead of a traditional lead acid battery like I mentioned. Uh, has the built-in LED bright LED light. Uh, can also be used as, as a power bank to charge up your small electronics like phones and tablets, etc. The jumping peak current is at 2000 amps, which is not too bad, con considering, which I think is pretty good, considering the size of this unit. As you see, it's no bigger than my hand. It's actually the same exact size as my Samsung Galaxy A70 phone, which I'm actually recording with right now. Um, has many protection and safety built-in features, as, as I just showed you on the side of the box. And this also comes with an awesome 18-month warranty from the manufacturer. So if you guys have any issues, just in case it's defective or whatnot, or it's not jump-starting your engine or whatnot, I am sure you can contact this company uh, through through their uh, customer service link. And uh, I'm sure they will help you guys out if you need it, okay? So unfortunately, I, could, I couldn't test out this on my car because my battery is fully charged. But when I connected it to my battery, it shows me the current voltage and other important information right on the screen. All you have to do is hit the power button. And once you connect the positive to positive and negative to negative cables to your terminals, you will see this display. I believe that this display came on automatically. And then you just turn on the power button right here. Actually, before you do that, let me go ahead and show you how this, how easy it is to jumpstart your any dead battery. So... <clears throat> Of course, so if you are outside, what you want to do is first, you want to go ahead and uh, locate your battery and make sure you, you are able to reach your positive and negative battery terminals, whether your battery is a top post. Mine is a top post battery, and there's also other batteries that have a side post, which depending what kind of car model make and year and whatnot. Once you do that, you want to make sure which which side is the positive and which side is the negative to prevent any damage to your battery or the jump starter itself. Once you've done that, you go ahead and grab the your 12 volt jump starter and you go ahead and connect this. There is only one way to go ahead and plug in the jumper cables into the jump starter. So you want to make sure you want to open this flap right here on the left hand side. And once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And once you do that, you can see that there is a fast blinking red and green light right here. I believe this lets you know that you have probably properly plugged in the, the jumper cables into the jump starter. And then, and then you go ahead and connect your uh, negative alligator clip to the negative side of your battery terminal and the positive to uh, your positive terminal on the battery. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and turn on, <clears throat> I want to make sure these are, you want to make sure these two guys do not touch each other. Otherwise, you'll probably you'll probably have a big spark, which you don't want to do, okay? So, once you do that, you want to turn on the unit, okay? And then, I'm going to show you guys, once you do that, there is a very small boost button right here to give your battery a nice boost, which if you pay attention right over here, I hope you guys can see this. I should have enough light here. So once you turn on the unit, the jump starter on the right hand side, you turn it in the on in the on position. You want to you want to go ahead and press and hold this boost button right here, say a few seconds. And once I do that, you're gonna notice that the light turns a solid green. What that means is once and you'll hear a tick inside the power inside the jump starter. Once you do that, you have 30 seconds to go ahead and try to, to start your engine if it doesn't do that you can go ahead and restart the process again you might have to do it a second time maybe maybe not depending how how much of a low voltage your battery ha is, is putting out and that's about it to be honest so you should you should be able to um as you can see now after 30 or 40 seconds i went back to the there is another click I, I think you guys maybe you can hear it in the video i'm not sure if you can but you can see that one back to like the regular state which is fast blinking of a red a, and green light, letting you know that it's not ready to jump start your car. So once you press and hold the boost button right here on where my where my finger is on the top, 
Press and hold it for a few seconds. Wait until the green light, wait, wait until this light turns into a solid green. And you can go ahead and start the engine. You have 30 seconds actually to start your engine. And it should start up your engine with no problem unless your battery is complete, like completely drained, which doesn't really happen too often, to be honest. So anyways, and then once you are done, you can just go ahead and turn off the switch button right here. You can go ahead and unplug it. Of course, you want to disconnect the negative and the positive from your battery. Then once your car is running, you just go ahead and unplug this and you are good to go. So I love the size of the, this unit. It's, it's, it's so light, you can almost fit it in your pocket. But you, you really don't need to because it comes with this nice hard shell, uh, uh, you know, a, a bag, I should say, or a hard shell case, I should say. Uh, to protect all of your goodies, to protect to protect all the you know all the accessories and the user manual and the jump starter itself, which I think is pretty awesome. Honestly, I think all companies with these type of uh, portable products, they should always come with a nice hard shell case. I mean, it doesn't it's not going to cost them that much. You know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to hit that like button, as it really helps me out to bring more review content just like this. And if you are new around here then please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell icon and choosing all notifications to stay informed whenever I release a new video. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next review. Take care.